scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever. When you tell them you came from Nazareth, they will no longer laugh and say, can anything good come out of Nazareth? I don't care whether your village is in the map or not. God can pick you from where you are and exalt you and give you a voice. That whenever people are talking of favor, if you are teaching someone on favor and after 15 minutes he does not understand, you just say, do you know Reverend Godwin Abba? He says, yes, say now, you understand what I'm saying? And the person says, I get it. They can, you personify a dimension of God's grace. God can give men speed. Well, I don't know Zechariah. I don't know all these guys. I don't know Elijah. Say, who can I find? And they just mentioned someone. He said, do you know how what are life members? You've seen what have, has happened to them in the last three months. Say, oh, you had the story too. We've had that there's, there's, there's some speed that is happening in this place. Isn't it amazing that as plenty as we are in this country, if someone steals in 24 hours, everybody knows that there was once a thief. Newspaper, internet. It's not just for marketing nonsense alone. It's also for letting the world know that Jesus is alive. Are we together? Let's bring fame to the name of Jesus through the excellency of our results. That someone can kneel down at home and say, look at what this man's life is commanding for loving God is what I rejected God to look for. I rejected prayer. I rejected worship. I rejected integrity because I was looking for money and fame. Now I've not found it. Here is a man with integrity of heart, loving God in righteousness and sincerity. You have given them a proposal through your life. It's amazing the things people leave God for, Pastor. They will leave God in a heartbeat looking for promotion. There are people right now who will sit at the office of people who they believe can help them from morning till night. Even at a time like this when the word of God is coming. They say, no, 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 no. I will listen to it one day. I need a contract. And God is saying, stay. One thing is needful. Matter, matter. You are worried and offended about many things. One prophetic word from this altar can set your life on fire. And yet people will ignore it. So God needs to use you as a specimen to show people that Jesus Christ is not a nuisance to advancement. That Jesus is not a nuisance to civilization. That as a politician, you can serve God and rise through God. Hallelujah. Don't believe all that thing to say everybody who rises has, has had to have caught corners. No, there are, some, there are people who have not bowed to Baal. And yet with the dignity of kingdom integrity have risen. Your results will bring people to their knees. That someone will go down on his knees. Not because he's watching a sermon. He hears of the testimonies of the wonder working power of God in your life. And says no, I've been in this same Abuja. I carried my brother I brought here and my brother came to ward a life and received fire in two years. Look what has become of his life. The reason why we desire results is number one as consolations to our Christian experience but then number two the revelation of the glory of God. 
are you ready to pray father i am tired of this level i desire a higher dimension of glory a higher dimension of results in my life lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray are you praying this morning what a life Touch my body, my soul, my spirit. Breathe on me. Touch my body, my soul, my spirit. Breathe on me. You are the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, take your place, take your place, take your place. Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, your name is called Emmanuel, your name is called the Lion of the tribe of Judah lives in me. Is walking inside the lion of the tribe of Judah lives in me. He's walking inside. It's the lion of the tribe of Judah lives in me. He's walking inside the lion of the tribe of Judah lives in me. He's walking inside of me. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I am living this level, a greater level of glory, a greater level of fire, a greater level of results in the name of Jesus Christ. The King of Glory is about to pass through my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we still together? You are going to mention every aspect of your life where it looks like there are gates stopping you from seeing the glory of God. For some of you, it's your finances. This thing has refused to answer. Don't waste this conference. For some of you, it's the area of your health. Month after month, there is always an evil report. You have this, you have that. Just when you are blessed, they now tell you you have this, you need to go to the hospital until the money finishes, then you become fine. That devil is a liar. For some of you, it's the education of your children. You spend so much money on them, they return back with evil reports. For some of you, is that there is no favor, no increase. I'd like you to pray. The glory of God must be revealed in this area, that area of my life. Mention it and lift your voice and begin to pray. Go ahead. You are in ministry, declare over your ministry. You are in business, declare over your business. It is time for the glory of the Lord to be revealed in my life. It is 
time for the glory of God to be revealed through my life. Shika Parota Palata, Rakatalia, 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 Shaka, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We have just about 10 minutes. I want to pray for you. This is my last and final session. And I truly believe that your life would never be the same. Amen. Hallelujah. I'd like you to be sensitive within these next 10 minutes. I'm standing, joining faith with the angel over this house. It's time for things to change in your life. For some of you, what is coming upon you is the grace that will give you strange speed. I'm telling you, you will, you will begin to move at a frequency that will surprise you. For some of you, it's access to the gift of men. Men will arise from everywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, hear me. It is seen to minister above the level of grace you are given. The Bible says every man, that means don't make statements you do not have the grace to defend. This man you see standing before you with all humility. I know what it means to be a partaker of the mercy of God. What you see is an election of grace. We are sent to the body. I love and I honor your pastor so much and the humility of his heart to allow the entrances of these graces to your life, to your destiny. We are made by the graces that are upon us. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup. He does not anoint your cup. I know what is on your cup by looking at what is on your head. If your cup is empty, don't blame the cup. The cup is innocent. Is that your head is also empty. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So I'd like for your heart to be open just about 10 minutes and we'll pray. I'm hearing a name Jennifer. Who is Jennifer? Jennifer. Is there someone with such a name? You are at the back. I'm seeing you're a fair lady at the back. This is what God is showing me. Is there someone like that? Just help me if, please. Huh? Okay, you know the person. Who is that? Where are you from, my dear? Three of you. The person the Lord is talking to is from, you, who has something to do with worry? Delta State. Who is from Delta? Where are you from? Delta State. Delta. I want to pray for you. Because I'm going to pray for you. Don't worry. Father, in the name of Jesus, listen. The Lord wants to pray over your family. Look at me. You're a member of this church? I want to pray for you in the presence of your pastor and to speak over your life. That the Lord will shift you. This is what God is bringing to your family. There's somebody who will shout under the anointing now. Please bring that person here. We just have 10 minutes. I just saw light. There is a power of God coming over someone. It's a family. For the sake of their family. Please bring the person. It's a loud shout to the hearing of everybody. The supernatural power of God. I just, I'm seeing like smoke. Just moving from the front to the back. In the name of Jesus Christ, my dear, I declare over your life by the power of the Holy Spirit, may the Lord bring visitations to your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is Naomi? I'm hearing a name Naomi. It's like Naomi. Someone with that name, Naomi. This is my brother, I want to pray. Is there someone with that name? Naomi. You are wearing a black dress. Black, complete. Who is that? Are you a member of this church? so that please listen i know hold on i know that prophecies have been corrupted people do all sorts of things but please don't mistake it not everybody is on serious with god 
there are people who have paid their price and have been shown mercy by God it's important I say this so that you do not think every manifestation of prophecy is necessarily an operation of demons no my brother I pray for you I don't know him but in Jesus name I pray for you the way the Lord will begin to lift you I'm seeing you climb a ladder in the name of Jesus Christ sir please don't be offended with all due respect the Lord is asking me to speak to you sir this this uh, father on suit you can just stand here sir you may not need to come just to honor him I don't know you sir but I'm seeing you climb a ladder in the spirit and the Lord is saying I should tell you it will not be long from now I don't know what it is that you do I saw you try to climb a ladder and it broke and brought you down and the Lord says it will not happen like it happened before this is a word that the Lord is giving you in the name of Jesus may that word be so madam this woman wearing a gold please lift your hands just lift both of your hands I'm seeing like oil coming on your head and I'm asking why help her please I'm seeing oil coming on your head and the Lord is saying it's an oil of favor even over your family in the name of Jesus Christ let it be so by the power of the Holy Spirit madam can I pray for you in the name of Jesus the Christ of God are you here alone there the Lord is showing me a woman your child is very sick this is what I don't know who this is I'm seeing I don't know what the situation is but you have a very sick child and and the Lord wants me to pray for that person to avert death to avert death this is a place where dead things and people come to life this is not a place where death happens in the name of Jesus Christ I stretch my hands and I pray for you ah I'm seeing fire just coming on you in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit let everything that represent oppression come to an end now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ who is Uche Uche I'm hearing the name Uche 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 this is a lady I know I don't I know they use Uche for both male and female but this is who is where do you come from my dear where are you from where are you from who is from Enugu what give her the mic where are you from no, man. Enugu state yeah. I want to pray for you I will pray for everyone but there is witchcraft that the Lord wants to break right now yeah. are we together the Bible says blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us my dear in the name of Jesus I declare over your life that every plague why am I praying for this lady and yet the power of God is falling on other people this is what I'm seeing in a vision please bring them out I'm praying for this lady oh, that witchcraft be broken but I'm seeing in a vision the power of God is falling on people in the congregation in the name of Jesus Christ just bring those under the anointing we have 10 minutes for this in the mighty name of Jesus everything that has to do with witchcraft and the activities of darkness right now I declare let it be broken let it be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost let it be broken now by the power of the Holy Ghost let it be broken from left to right front to the back in the name of Jesus here at Water Life Center, anyone who is under any influence that is not of the Christ, I come against it in Jesus' name. I come against it in Jesus' name. I come against it in Jesus' name. I stretch my hands to you. Look at me, my dear. In the name of Jesus, I bring you deliverance by the power of the Holy Spirit. And for all of you who are in front, I declare in Jesus' name, let there be deliverance for you. Now, please, very quickly, if you are trusting God for healing, just lay your hands there. We've not had the time to pray for the sick. Lay your hands. I command every spirit. I'm just seeing a snake rolling in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare, be gone now by the power of the Holy Spirit.
there are people who are exchangers of the glory of others the Lord is putting in me to pray that anything that is yours but was taken away from you and exchanged the power of God is coming on you now it must return I declare right now parakato let there be restoration restoration right now restoration of everything missing help that help that lady please restoration by the power of the holy ghost Say, you've touched his grace, your life is changed. You will never be the same. You've touched his grace, your life is changed. Restoration, everything taken from you. I'm here to pray for the sick. The Lord is telling me to pray for restoration. Hear me. Anyone sitting on your seat now, I overturn, I overturn. I overturn, I overturn, I overturn, I overturn, bring them out, I overturn, I overturn, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Anyone who said over his dead body for you to rise, may that prayer be answered now. May that prayer be answered now. Everything that has refused to grow in your hands, in the name of Jesus, everything that is alive grows therefore whatever has refused to grow i stand in faith with your pastor and i declare increase to your hands spiritually increase to your hands financially increase to your hands in the name of jesus christ there is a young man I'm seeing somebody you are into real estate you are a young man who is that person I don't mean just you just have like the idea you are actively into it the Lord wants me to pray for that person you are wearing glasses I'm seeing in a vision like brown dr dress is there someone like that are you a member of this church huh so that we don't what do you do sir I want to pray for you You believe in the power of God? Yes, sir. It's not only the heavens and the earth God makes, so he can make men. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sas, I pray for you. No, you don't have to kneel. I pray for all of you, standing in faith with the grace that is upon God's servant, I declare upon you. You will excel in a way that when you come and stand upon this altar to testify, it will be as if it's a lie, but it will be true. In the name of Jesus Christ. And everything limiting your growth I come against it right now in Jesus name everything limiting your growth I come against it in Jesus name whatever has been missing in your life relationships prophetic connections in the name that is above all names I'm declaring to you right now wherever it is the same grace that came upon the ark of Noah and made all the animals to find their way by themselves to that ark. I command everything that has left you, that should not have left you, may it find its way back to your life. Find its way back to your destiny. Find its way back to your life. Find its way back to your destiny. Hallelujah. Please do not come out. I will just give it as a prophetic word. I'm seeing someone here, you are quite an influential personality 
you have a court case that has been dragging for years. You don't have to come out, maybe because of security reasons, but in the name of Jesus, the Lord is asking me to speak to you that this month of July, the Lord is bringing you victory. I don't know who that person is, but I'm speaking as one sense that in the name of Jesus, this is like one, two, three, about four years at least, the Lord is saying he's overturning and he's bringing you victory. In the name of Jesus, the Christ of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are you ready to pray favor provoking prayers? In one minute, open your mouth. Lord, your glory revealed as favor through my life. Let it come. Lift your voice and pray. We're wrapping up. Lift your voice and pray. The favor of God. The number one reason why men succeed and advance in this life. Go ahead and pray. Your favor upon my life. Hallelujah. 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 Sir, I'm about to pray for the sick, but if you permit me, the Lord just gave me a word that there are many people here who are trusting God for establishment in terms of territory, properties, maybe to establish themselves. And the Lord just spoke to me to pray over. Is, is, am I, can I pray that prayer? Psalms 44, verse 3. I want you to receive this grace and watch the wonder it will do in your life. Read with me if you're a Christian. One, two, read. For they got not the land in possession by their own sword, neither did their own arm save them, but thy right hand and the light of your... Because thou hadst a favor. Can I tell you this? I don't claim to know everything about business. But when it has to do with establishment, it is God that helps men. He's called Ebenezer, the helper of men. There are many people here, you are trusting God for the grace for structural establishment. When Jacob told Laban, leave me, I need to have my own home too and establish myself. Laban refused to allow him and said, I'll be giving you peanuts to keep you. Because Laban used divination and found out that the blessing upon Jacob was why his house was prospering. There are people who have refused to let you go to establish yourself. You are getting old, your family is suffering, you cannot even own a property. This is not carnality. You need to be established to give you room to serve the purposes of God. Worry can drain your spiritual life. Can I pray for that grace? There is a grace that can help people to be established. Father, you have put this word in my spirit. And in the name of Jesus, I pray for everyone in this great church and following online who genuinely desires structural establishment. For some of you, between now and December 25th, in the name of Jesus, I send a prophetic word that Christmas this year will be in your own house. How shall these things be? Seeing that I know not a man, he said the power of the highest shall overshadow you. I declare it again. The grace that can go ahead of you and bring you into prepared blessings, may that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. Please lay your hands. Let's pray for the sick now as we wrap up. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth, Acts chapter 10 and verse 38. With the Holy Ghost and with power, the Bible says, He went about doing good and healing not they who were sick, they who were oppressed. Sickness is an oppression. There is a biological angle to it. 
but there is largely a spiritual angle to it the bible says for god was with him hallelujah and in matthew chapter 10 when you read from verse 1 and then verse 10 jesus mandated the apostles he said as ye go preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand he says heal the sick cleanse the lepers raise the dead freely you have received freely give are we together please place your hand if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest and believe forget about the doctor's report now you just believe oh your healing has come oh I don't know why God does this someone will shout loud under the anointing the moment that happens the healing power of Jesus will begin to move I will just pray in one minute are you ready now in the name of Jesus Christ shout a loud amen in the name of Jesus Christ you are not just shouting Jericho is falling in the name of Jesus Christ In the name of, help them, in the name of Jesus Christ. Help them, in the name of Jesus Christ. Help them, in the name of Jesus Christ. Get Jericho. Hear the shout. The healer is the shout of the king. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command every devil that is back of any sickness help that woman please and any infirmity I curse you be gone now leave their bodies now you don't have to bring them out don't bring them out just hide them so they don't injure themselves right now I decree and declare from the crown of your head down to the soles of your feet be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name my God there's such power the power of God is moving here be healed in Jesus name my grain headache the Lord is healing my grain headache right now in the name of Jesus I'm seeing someone with a severe problem around your chest the power of God is touching you right now be healed in the name of Jesus someone your left your left leg I'm seeing I don't know what pain but right now in the name of Jesus be healed all kinds of growths in your body breast lumps fibroids every devil that God did not plant we command an exodus of it out of your body You have a problem with your eyesight right now in the name of Jesus be healed be healed there's someone you don't have to come out I'm just praying I, I what I'm seeing is like you have a problem I don't know if it's indigestion or constipation regardless of what you eat is something that con you you are even afraid of eating because no matter how little it will trouble your stomach for a long time right now as i'm praying for you the power of god is coming upon you be healed in the name of jesus i'm seeing someone you can't sleep ordinarily until you take pills some pills that was given to you from the hospital i declare in the name of jesus christ that sleeplessness will curse you by the god of heaven in the name of Jesus Christ hotness of the body be gone now in the name of Jesus you walk for very little and then you are extremely tired you are not someone who has advanced in age but you can stand even just for a little while and you are completely tired in the name of Jesus I don't know what the medical name is but I command the spirit that is back of it to leave you now 
if there is anyone here called barren hear the word of the lord by this time next year return with miracle children by time next year return with miracle children now any part of your body help, help that woman please any part of your body that is sick and afflicted whether mentioned or not in the name of jesus here at word alive on this sunday morning be healed now be healed now and i pray for everyone trusting god for a miracle job here i release my faith there is a god who can help men in the name of jesus like it happened in the house of obed edom three months from now help them please three months from now wherever your job is in abuja in lagos in this nation around the world we call that job to locate you in jesus name every home and every family here that is unsettled it doesn't matter what raging storm around the family we speak right now at this conference shalom peace be still peace be still peace be still i join my faith with your father the angel over this house every level of results you seek i release my faith with you i push you into it by prophecy i push you into it by prophecy in the name of jesus christ can i pray over your finances have you heard of this proverb that in one day zion is built it says but as soon as zion travails a nation can be built in one day it depends on who is building it if it's an architect that is building it you will need time but if it's god that is building it all he says is let there be and there is i pray for you in the name that is above all names over your finances whatever it is that you're involved with we force it to work now and for those of you that gates and doors have closed towards your finances we scatter those gates now in the name of jesus christ the bible says your gates shall be continually open day or night they will not be shut so that you will receive the forces of the gentiles it says where you have been deserted so that no man passes through you you become an eternal excellency a joy of many generations can i pray for everyone connected to this grace members of this church sons and daughters of the man of god following from anywhere i declare as god lifts your father and your prophet may you partake of that lifting as god honors his servant may god honor you as god beautifies his life may he beautify your life in the name of jesus christ we pray for every faithful worker serving god in this church day and night serving in secret serving in the open i pray for you the reward that follows stewardship let it follow you and overtake you follow you and overtake you in the name of jesus christ and for everyone who is involved in the ministry of in gathering ensuring that souls continue to come so that lives be changed lives be transformed according to daniel chapter 12 in the name of jesus may you shine like the stars evermore i decree and i declare over you that as you participate in helping people know jesus through this grace listen i'm standing in the name of jesus the god who sent me i decree and declare may shame and reproach dry up forever from your life
I have to pray for your spiritual life. Hmm. This is a church of fire. This is a church of righteousness. This is a church of salvation. This is a church of word encounter. Anything less than that in your life, in the name of Jesus, let there be fire upon your altar now. Anyone's prayer life here, under the sound of my voice, that has gone down, here in this conference, we find the flames of your prayer life now. Every word study life that has gone down, passion for the word has gone down, I declare in the name of Jesus, may grace and hunger for the word rest upon you. Let me pray for you. If there is any association that is derailing you, giving you counsels of Ahitophel, that is leading you away from righteousness, away from dignity, right now, we break you free from such associations. Let me wrap up by prophesying Psalm 112 for you. Blessed is the man that feared the Lord, that delighted greatly in his commands. The Bible says his seed shall be mighty upon earth. I pray for the children in this church. They are not here, they are in their children's church, but we pray for them. The spirit of death, if there is death over any one of our children, we command death you pass by you will never find expression in their lives we pray for these children they will never do anything twice to succeed in the name of jesus christ the bible says the generation of the upright shall be blessed it says wealth and riches shall be in his house and yet his righteousness endures forever May your life be testaments of the glory of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Reverend Godwin, sir, thank you. To you and to your wife and to this entire assembly, thank you for the honor and the opportunity to bring the word of the Lord. It never tires me to be a blessing. And I pray in the name of Jesus that you all will go from glory to glory, to glory, to glory, to glory, in Jesus' name. Hello, scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins, incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.